Hello everybody, welcome to another video! I'm super excited because I just figured out how to make my uh, goggles show up on a TV screen using the Isheen DVR that I installed on these goggles. These are the Isheen goggles too. Anyway, it's really super simple and it's kind of staring at me in the face and actually it really doesn't involve doing that much other than soldering a few wires. So I guess I'm just going to show you how to solder a few wires. But I'm really excited about it, so stick around, we're going to have some fun, and I'm going to show you how to get your goggles up on the TV screen, so that way you can show all of your cool friends how cool you are, because let's be honest, okay, when you're wearing these things, and you're like flying around being awesome, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool, did you see me do that? And then they're like, no, I didn't see you do anything, I, you look like an idiot wearing those goggles. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you just, it, oh, it's so amazing, you have to see this, this is the coolest thing ever. And they're like, yeah, it sounds like it looks amazing. But when you get it on the TV, you're like, whoa, check this out on the TV. And they're like, dude, you're the coolest guy I know personally, and I know all of the cool people ever. You're cool, so if you want to be cool, stick around and watch this video. We're going to have fun. Yeah. First thing we want to do, get our soldering iron heated up. Get that baby burning. Okay, first things first. Here's what we're working here, uh, working with here. We've got the Eosheen uh, Pro DVR. These are the specs for it. Well, these are the actual specifications for it. Don't know why you'd want those, but just in case you do, then there you go. All right, so all I have set up for this one is the video. I didn't set this up for the audio. Doesn't really matter, but the point is, if you have yours set up a uh, different way, this should still apply, I think. Or even if it doesn't apply exactly, it should give you an idea. Okay, cool. So now it's got this little top, this top uh, pin right here. So we've got video out and then audio out, or ground video out. It actually comes with this connector right here. So you can actually plug, this is what I did. I plugged it into the TV using just this. Uh, this is all you need to get the audio or to get the video signal to your TV. You've got your your, your yellow uh, wire and your black wire. The black is the ground, uh, yellow is the signal, and you plug it into your TV. And that's all you need for the video. This guy is if you have audio set up, but I don't have audio set up, so I don't really care about it. Now, unless you want your head, you know, a few inches away from the TV while you're doing this you're gonna to want to make an extension, and that's what we're going to do now. Now, in the package also comes this little fella, which is basically uh, exactly like this, except it doesn't have these connections on here. And on this guy, we're only gonna be working with these two wires, these yellow, the black and the yellow wire, right there, because that's all we really care about. So we're going to be essentially adding extensions onto these two wires. Now, what are we gonna use for an extension? Well, I have here an audio video cable, um, it's quite a long one, the longest one I could find. So I'm going to repurpose this. Okay, time for a little fun fact. So what's one thing we're going to want to know is which one is the ground? Is it this guy right here, this metal piece, or is it this metal piece? Well, I'm just going to tell you it. the ground is, is on the outside, um, so spoiler alert there. So you can just, you know, you can trust me or you can look it up. I'd probably recommend looking it up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna snip off the end of this thing. I'm just using red because I feel like it. I want to, I don't know, ever use this end for something else. I'm gonna use our wire strippers. Well, we have the rubber outer sheath uh, stripped. You can kind of pull these little copper wires apart and see that we have an inner red piece. Now, of course, that the, the red wire is an indicator that that is positive, so that is useful. So that's where we're going to connect the positive wire, our signal wire, and then to the copper around it, these copper wires on the outside, we're going to connect our ground. I'm going to uh, strip off just a tiny bit of our positive wire here. I'm just going to do a little roll action. So just kind of grip that. Boom. All right, at this point, I'm just going to take our little two little wires that go to co the connector that's actually gonna plug into our DVR, and I'm going to tin them, which is to say I'm just going to add some solder to the ends of them to make it easier when we solder them to the other wires. And before I do anything else, I'm going to add some heat shrink tubing on the ends of these 
wires because I can't stand it when I solder something and then I forget to put heat shrink tubing on there. So we're just gonna slide these all the way down the end and forget about them for now. And we're just gonna do the same thing to our other wires. We're just going to add a little bit of solder. It's called tinning them. It's gonna make it easier to solder them to the other wires. I don't wanna hold the heat too long, otherwise the rubber and stuff will start to melt. Mmm, solder fumes. Just kidding, don't breed those solder fumes. Always solder in a ventilated space. All right, now I'm going to solder the two uh, positive cables, or the, the signal cables. And we're just gonna heat them up and bam. Oop, oh, I've got a solder glob. I'm just gonna shrink it right down. Boom. Make the ground connection. Keep things from shorting out, because uh, nobody wants that. So that's basically it for our cable. There's just a few more things to do. I'm gonna take this little paper clip dealy deal and I'm gonna attach it right there. This is gonna give us some place to clip this cable while it's plugged in to our DVR. So that way if I accidentally pull on this cable or something, it's not going to pull it out of the DVR. Alrighty, let's test her out. Let's see what we get. We should get some static. We got static, folks. Boom, that was a success. Let's uh, plug in our little uh, quadcopter. Ishi Lizard 105S and boom! Whoa! Hey, there's me. Whoa, that's crazy. All right, wasn't that fun? I told you that'd be fun. Okay, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you on the next one. Give me a like if you like this video, and give it a thumbs down if you're like, no, he's dumb. And be sure to leave a comment below um, if you have any better ways of doing this, or if I did something wrong, which that's not possible. We all know that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Enter Infinity!